I was watching my uncle. Yeah. Listening to that pistol, riding around with a pool. Listening to that pistol, riding Fuck around with a pool. What's good, y'all? I'm Hilt, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about fentanyl. So fentanyl is an extremely strong opioid pain reliever. It is very similar to other opioids, but it's 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine. So it's one of the strongest pain relievers you can get. It's used to treat severe pain and pain after surgeries. And it's also used for chronic pain for patients that are already tolerant to other opioids. So like if you had chronic pain and you've been taking oxycodone or opan or morphine for an extended period of time, they might give you fentanyl so your body can feel it. So it actually work. Cause once you build up a tolerance to opiates, then you need something stronger. You always need something stronger. And fentanyl is one of the strongest ones you can get. When fentanyl is prescribed, they usually give it to you in either a transdermal patch that you put on your skin or as a lozenge or like a sucker. So when the drugs are administered in this way through the patch or the lozenge, it only lets a little bit of the drug out at a time. And they, they prescribe it like that to help prevent overdosing. But users often get around this by chewing on the patches, eating them. And that's kind of like if you crush up a pill and snort it. And so all of the drugs enter your bloodstream at the same time. And that's how you get high off of it. So fentanyl is also made illegally in labs. And they make it either as liquid and put it on blotter paper like LSD or as a powder or as pressed into pills. So it looks like they can make it look like other prescription pills like Laura Tabs, Percocet, Xanax, Ecstasy. And when they do it like that and make it look like other pills, that's how a lot of overdoses occur. Because somebody buys it thinking it's an actual pill, an actual like Percocet or Xanax and really it's got fentanyl in it and it only takes just a little bit of fentanyl to overdose like a couple grains can be the difference in either getting high or overdosing it just depends on what your tolerance is and in the powder form they use it to mix with other drugs like cocaine or more commonly in heroin because it has some of the same effects as heroin they cut the heroin or the cocaine or whatever with the fentanyl so it makes it stronger and it stretches the product so it makes the drug dealers more money like that and that's another reason that a lot of overdoses occur because you think you're getting cocaine and it's got fentanyl in it and a lot of people that do cocaine don't mess with opiates you know so they're thinking they're going to do some coke and they're going to be geeked up. But then it's really some fentanyl in there and they're not used to it. And it's easy to overdose like that. Or in heroin, they're used to doing a certain amount. But then they do the same amount, but it's got fentanyl in it. And you can overdose real easy and die like that. Fentanyl acts like other opioids, it binds to the opiate receptors in your brain and your body and helps relieve pain. It makes you extremely happy, like real euphoric feeling. It makes you itch like other opiates. You might see people that's on perks or tabs or whatever itching their face and itching and stuff. And that's what opiates do to you. They make you itch. It also causes drowsiness nausea, constipation, vomiting, and you'll see people nodding out. That's what is most common with opiate users. Confusion, sedation, 
and depressed respiratory function. So it slows your breathing and it can stop it altogether. So that's how people die because your brain, you forget to breathe and you either damage your brain cells or you just die like that. Naloxone or Narcan is used to treat overdoses. So what Narcan does is it binds to the opiate receptors and it blocks and reverses the effects of other opioids. So if somebody's overdosing, they hit them with the Narcan and it attaches to those opiate receptors and knocks the other drugs out. So a lot of times when people OD and they bring them back, they're mad because they're not high anymore. Narcan is either administered by injection or they have a nasal spray. But fentanyl is so strong, a lot of times they have to give them multiple shots of the Narcan because it's so strong. Some states have passed laws to allow physicians and pharmacists, EMTs, to administer Narcan without a prescription so they can try and combat some of the overdose deaths. I think it's a good thing. You know, a lot of places, they say it's encouraging opiate use, but the way I see it, it if you're going to do it, you're going to do it. You're not encouraging it. You're just saving some people's lives. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Fentanyl, like other opiates, can also lead to addiction. And when you get addicted to opiates, your brain builds a tolerance to the drugs. And when it attaches to those receptors in your brain, once you get addicted, it's hard to feel any kind of pleasure other than the drug. And that's what your brain is telling you the whole time. If you start going into withdrawal, your brain is just telling you, like, it needs more of the drug. And you know as an addict, that's the only thing that's going to make it better. Like, nothing's going to make you feel better except getting some more dope. So that's one of the hardest things about going through withdrawal. The withdrawal symptoms from fentanyl are just like all other opiates. You get muscle and bone pain, extreme anxiety, hot and cold flashes, diarrhea, vomiting, sleep problems, uncontrollable leg movements, you can't get comfortable, and extreme cravings. Because once again, you know that's the only thing that's going to make you feel better is to get high again. It's rough, man. It's not anything you want to go through. It's bad. And with fentanyl, it wears off so quick that those withdrawal symptoms start way before other opiates like heroin or methadone. Mixing fentanyl with other drugs is also very dangerous. You should never mix fentanyl with other drugs like muscle relaxers or hypnotics like Zolpidem, or benzos like Xanax or Valium or alcohol. All of those intensify the effects and it can lead to respiratory malfunction, respiratory failure, overdose, death, coma. In 2017, there were 70,237 drug overdose deaths in America. Out of those, 47,600 were opiate related. And 59.8% of those were attributed to fentanyl. It's crazy. In 2018, the numbers went down, but just a little bit. There were 67,367 drug related overdose deaths. And 46,802 of them were opiate related. So it was down a little bit, and I think that's because Narcan is more readily available. They got more EMTs that have Narcan and can get to people faster when they overdose. I've used fentanyl quite a few times. At first, I had a lady that was getting the patches, and she would give them to me. I would buy them, whatever. And I've worn them a couple times, and... 
doing it like that, I didn't really get high. It did take my pain away, but I didn't really get like a high feeling off of it. But I would chew the patches, I would eat them, and I would get high like that. It wasn't crazy high like heroin or anything like that, but it was it was pretty strong. But I used it more recently before I went to jail the last time when I was doing heroin every day. I would get heroin that had fentanyl in it. And to me that was my that was my favorite favorite kind, you know what I'm saying? Like you hear about the gray death the gray heroin, that's usually got fentanyl in it. And the pink heroin, like that's usually got fentanyl in it too. That was my favorite. I used to tell people I didn't want it if it didn't put me on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to get that high. I would mix fentanyl and other drugs regularly, especially Xanax. It got to the point where I couldn't even really get the same high from fentanyl and heroin anymore unless I used Xanax to intensify it. I could do a couple grams and still not nod. And that's how high my tolerance was for it. And there was one time that I did straight fentanyl. This guy, he brought it to my house. I go out to the car with him. And he gets it out for me and he tell me to try it out. So I busted up a little line. It was like a half a tenth. That's 0.05 of a gram. A half a point is not much at all. And I'm used to doing at least one or two tenths, one or two points at a time of H of heroin. And so I set the line out and I did it. And within five seconds, I had done fell out. Next thing I knew, I was standing in the garage with uh, a Wendy's bag out of the trash in my wallet in my other hand. And my baby mama's yelling at me. My mom's yelling at me. I didn't know what was going on. I was faded. They made me go sit on the couch. They put me in time out. I sit on the couch and I was trying to figure out what happened. It came back to me after about an hour when I sobered up. I was sitting in the car and I snort the fentanyl off the CD case. In like five seconds, I was out. While I was out, he tried to rob me because they had my wallet in my hand. He tried to take my money. And I came to and realized what he was doing. And I hit his ass in the nose. And he was leaking, like leaking blood everywhere. He went in the house and knocked on my baby mama bedroom door and was like leaking blood out of his nose and said, can somebody help me? They came out there and it was like an hour before I realized what happened. It was crazy. That was the, the strongest dope that I had ever did. You got to be careful out there, man, because... People dying every day. They dropping like flies every day in Tennessee. You hear about people overdosing and dying. And then the way they make these pills nowadays, unless you get the pills from the pharmacy, you don't know what you're getting because they make pill presses and they can press out pills and make them look like anything. And it can have anything in it. And you just never know. But that's about all the time we got for the day. I appreciate y'all tapping in. If you hadn't yet, hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment, man. It would really help me out if y'all like and comment on this shit. You know what I'm saying? We trying to run it up. I appreciate y'all, man. I'll catch y'all on the next one.